So this is something I've been telling you guys for a minute now, which is the fact that cancel culture has gone too far. It's just out of hand at this point. It's not slowing down. People on the internet will cancel any and every celebrity for no reason at all. It's wild. There's legitimately people on the internet who make a hobby out of ending famous people's careers. It's, it's pretty sad. Now, with that being said, I'm pretty sure almost anyone over the age of like 10 knows who Jenna Marbles is. She's really one of the most OG popular YouTuber. She made her YouTube channel back in 2010. There was definitely a time when Jenna Marbles was one of the most recognizable faces on YouTube, one of the most popular creators. I mean, right now she has over 20 million subscribers. And just earlier today, she uploaded a video to her channel titled A Message. And in this video, she pretty much announces that she's quitting YouTube either temporarily or forever. And throughout this video, she pretty much apologizes for all the stuff she's done throughout her YouTube career that might be seen as a Offensive. I mean, for over half this video, she's apologizing for stuff she did almost a decade ago that people might find offensive in 2020. And like, as you guys are gonna see, she has to apologize for using a spray tan to look like Nicki Minaj. It's just wild how cancel culture is forcing people to apologize for stuff almost a decade ago. And, and it's stuff that has no relevancy whatsoever today. You know, people will just go back through YouTubers' old videos and just dig stuff up to try to cancel them. So after Jenna Marble spends like the first nine minutes of this video, Video apologizing for the stuff she's done throughout her YouTube career. She then goes on to say that she's quitting YouTube either temporarily or forever. She's done uploading on her channel. Her YouTube channel that she's been running for over a decade now, she, she just quit on the spot. This is her last video. So here's the video. All right, so I get it. I um, feel like we're at a time where we are purging ourselves of anything and everything toxic. There's a couple things that people want me to address and apologize for and i'm happy to do that because what i want from the people that i support and that i like is to have accountability and to know that i'm supporting someone whose morals and values align with my own and yeah i uh, there's things in my past i'm not proud of First off, she's being forced to apologize for a clip from 2011. I mean, isn't it just a little ridiculous she's apologizing for a clip from over nine years ago? I mean, at the end of the day, what she did could definitely be seen as offensive. And like, if she did that, like, say, last month, yeah, then she should probably apologize for it. But she's apologizing for something she did nine years ago. That's kind of overboard. You don't really owe an apology for a YouTube video you made nine years ago. Not to mention the fact it's clear that she didn't have bad intentions with the video whatsoever. I mean, at the time, she was just trying to make an entertaining YouTube video. There was no, like, bad intention behind it. So why does she have to sit here almost a decade later and make an apology video about it? That's, that's ridiculous. I'm also sorry for, um, I used to make a lot of content about, like, what girls do and what guys do, and I know at the time there are a lot of people that enjoyed those videos, but I have privated all of them because I don't think that making jokes about your gender is funny and i know that there's a lot of people that struggle with their identity and that have varying fluid identities okay what am i hearing she's apologizing for making jokes about genders what, what almost a decade ago this is a real thing someone got offended by that and felt the need to make her apologize for it in a youtube video are people really that soft these people would not last five seconds. They would not last three seconds in a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. Correct me if I'm wrong. Throw these people, these people who are complaining on Twitter trying to cancel YouTubers and stuff, throw all of them in a, in a 2010 Xbox Live party. They would not last 10 seconds. I mean, there's just no way. If you're getting offended from a decade-old YouTube video where they're stereotyping and joking about genders, then I can guarantee you I've never been in a Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 game chat. It, it just didn't happen because there's no way you would be that soft so um i think i'm just gonna move on from this channel for now um i don't know if that's forever i don't know how long it's gonna be um i'm just i want to make sure that the things that i put into the world are not hurting anyone and um yeah i'm just gonna stop for now or forever <laughs> i don't know so i need to be done 
with this channel for now or for forever. I don't know. So there you have it. Jenna Marbles is done with YouTube for the foreseeable future. I guess she just feels bad for the stuff she did earlier in her YouTube career, so she's just done altogether. I don't know. I don't really see the correlation there. I don't know if that's tied together. But either way, obviously this whole thing blew up on social media. Jenna Marbles is still currently number one trending on Twitter, actually. She's been trending pretty much all day now. Keemstar, the host of Drama Alert, actually made a pretty interesting Twitter video about the whole situation, where he said he thinks this actually marks the end of cancel culture. He thinks it's completely done now. So I'm gonna play this Twitter video from Keemstar here in a second, but pretty much he thinks that somebody as nice as Jenna Marbles getting canceled is pretty much just gonna open people's eyes to how far cancel culture is actually gone, and people are just gonna stop, I guess, partaking and canceling celebrities on the internet. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Do you agree with Keemstar that cancel culture is gonna be gone soon? Cancel culture is just gonna be a thing in the past. People won't be canceled anymore. But today, Jenna Marbles uploaded a video saying that she didn't want to hurt anyone, that she's done some stuff in the past that she wasn't happy about. She brought up some old videos that, you know, reflect badly today. And ultimately, she decided that she was just gonna quit YouTube. Jenna Marbles, of all people, being canceled? Just seems odd. Everyone knows Jenna Marbles is a good person, but to have her be canceled and quit YouTube because of cancel culture really does seem like the end of cancel culture as a whole. Because quite frankly, this shit's gone too far. So there you have it. Personally, I don't really see cancel culture ending anytime soon. People are just too soft. They're gonna keep canceling celebrities for virtually no reason. For them, you know, making jokes about genders over a decade ago, like in Jenna Marble's case, that's ridiculous. But like I said, let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments. Anyway, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.